Here's Shiva, one of our two sled dogs. She's a great puller. Uh, you've seen her in a lot of our videos, oh. but she's a bit of a mystery. Where does she come from and what are her origins? Well, in today's episode, we'll explore that. Welcome to another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Trembley. Well, it's a very hot July day. Certainly not the kind of conditions for running our sled dogs, whether it's with a bike or whether it's certainly not with the sled. Um, this is the time when they basically spend time sitting in the shade and just hunkering down for the summer. So it gives me a perfect opportunity to do a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And basically, I want to talk about Shiva, who's over here behind me hanging out on her um, her doghouse right now. So anyway, um, Shiva's a real mystery. She's a great sled dog. If you've been watching our channel at all, you've seen her countless times running alongside Bandit, pulling a sled, um, pulling, pulling me on a bike, even jogging with Carrie. Um, but the thing about Shiva, as great a sled dog as she is, she really is a dog of mystery. And uh, it's a mystery I've been trying to explore and trying to unravel, and I haven't had much success. So in today's episode, I'm going to talk about exactly what that mystery is and some of the things I'm trying to figure out. We'll begin with a little bit of background. We got Shiva um, because we were looking for a companion dog for Bandit. So here's Bandit right here. So um, I had a adopted, rehomed Bandit um, in... June of 2019. So I've always felt that having two dogs is easier than having one. And so I was looking around for a companion and eventually we found Shiva. So after some looking around, I eventually got connected to Shiva's former owners. So um, the for her former owners were inexperienced dog owners. Um, they really were overwhelmed um, taking care of her. And so uh, anyway, I was able to connect with them and went up, met Shiva, and brought her home to live with us, Bandit and I, and Carrie. So I was told that Shiva was a cross between a German Shepherd and a Husky. And when I adopted her, I had no reason to think otherwise. And I brought her home and she met Bandit. And so that's how my little team of two sled dogs was created. So within a short time, I started taking uh, Bandit and Shiva out together and walking them and teaching their dog sled commands and introducing them to the trails that I would run them on and eventually got them in harness and we started, we started mushing together as a team. And right away, I was really surprised at just how well she did. She took really naturally to it. She was uh, very responsive to all the commands. She really enjoyed it. And she also just really has great movement. I was just impressed with her stride, um, how stable her forward movement is, um, just the fact that she double registers in her tracking. Um, she's got a really good reach. Her front foot comes under her chin. So I was super impressed, you know, it was like for this, you know, unknown mutt that she really was such a good puller. And of course, always, you know, I, I was always impressed with her looks, but as we got to know her and just saw how elegant she is and just how um, sleek and really just how, what a fit athlete she is. And of course her agouti markings and her, um, you know, her, her blue and brown eyes just really made her for a really stunning dog. When I took her to the vet for the first time, our vet has Alaskan Huskies. And he looked at her and he said, she's not a German Shepherd Husky. Uh, you know, Husky Cross, she is an Alaskan Husky. So then going by what the vet said, that's what I assumed. And then of course we did our first winter of pulling together and she just really excelled. Uh, the two dogs really just impressed me. We had a blast um, doing that first season of sledding. Um, and so then I became really impressed. I said, geez, she's such a good puller. Um, I'd like to know more about her. So we decided to do a DNA test. So if you've been a frequent viewer of our channel, you can just kind of, maybe you already saw, but there are two videos. There's the video where we actually do her DNA test, and then there's the video where we get the results. 
And we were so surprised when we got the results because it turned out that she is 100% Siberian Husky. And uh, of course she doesn't look the part, you know, when people think of a Siberian Husky, they more often think of basically a dog like Bandit, black and white with the blue eyes. Um, they don't think of this dark agouti color dog um, who looks more really honestly more wolfy um, than the traditional Siberian Husky does. So we were really stunned to learn that she was 100% Siberian Husky. That completely changed how we thought about her. I didn't mention this, but the first time we took her to the vet, the vet was unable to determine if she had been spayed or not. Um, he could not find any scar. Um, we didn't want to do anything like overly invasive to determine it. And so he basically said, well, just wait to see if she comes into season and that will tell you. And so uh, we waited and then shortly before we got her DNA test, um, she went into season. So she had her, her first heat with us. So now we realize that she was unspayed. So now that we knew that she was a purebred Siberian Husky and she's just such a good sled dog and she really just has so many interesting features. She's a real, what they call a village dog, working class Siberian Husky as opposed to um, kind of like the more normal pet type Siberian Husky. Her movement is much more efficient. Bandit when he runs, I mean, he loves to run, but there's a lot of wasted movement. He's really bumpy, He, you know, his feet don't track as well. Shiva is all forward momentum. So I realized that, geez, I really would like to get another dog out of her, just to get a dog. I don't want to do a backyard breeding. Um, I'm not about backyard breeding. My, my Malamutes, I bred all myself and I kept them all. I don't breed dogs to sell them. I don't breed dogs to give them to just to anybody. Um, but I really would like to get a dog, a pup or two out of uh, Shiva before we eventually spay her. Um, but I really want to have a nice cross with her. Um, I'd love to have uh, find a stud who really matches her temperament, her build, um, her genetics really well. So we're on the lookout for that. I'm sorry that she's the dogs are just so lazy. It really is hot today. As a purebred husky, she really is um, really kind of on the wild side. She has a very high prey drive. Um, she only comes into season once a year and so predicting her seasons is, is kind of challenging um, so anyway there's really no rush to find a stud but i would like to get a, a pup out of her because i think uh, a pup or two um, because that's she really typifies the type of dog that i like to have bandit is <laughs> is neutered and so um, you know we cannot breed with him and actually bandit as cute and as lovable as he is and perfect uh, pet type of husky um, I really want to match Shiva with more of the athletic working style husky that she is. So um, we're on the lookout. All we really know about uh, Shiva is that she was born in New Hampshire um, and uh, the, the former owner doesn't know who the breeder was, where she came from. Um, Shiva was given to her as a, a, a pup, as a puppy, as a gift. And, uh, and Shiva's also younger than um, the former owner knew. And so right now Shiva's about five years old, um, five and a half. And all we know is that she came out of New Hampshire. If anybody has any kind of leads as to where she may be from, that would be super. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, she's a great dog, but she's a real mystery. So that's our video on Shiva, our mysterious yet um, really great companion and, and sled dog. So uh, if you have any leads on where she might be from, I'd super appreciate it. Um, I'll do another video on ba featuring Bandit real soon too. Um, so anyway, this is a different one for us. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like if you, if, if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I look forward to seeing you on the trail somewhere sometime. Thanks for watching.